How to install Audio OS on your Wii U Mini in 2 minutes. <laughs> Remove the battery. Put the SD card in your computer. Download the software update from the BU website, uh, link in the description below. Unzip the update and copy the .img file from the firmware directory into the root level of your SD card. Then copy everything from the TF card directory onto the root level of the SD card as well, overwriting anything that's there. Eject your SD card from Windows, remove your SD card and shove it in your Bayou Mini. Use like a 5 volt charger with a USB A to C cord, plug in the Bayou Mini to power from the wall. Don't touch it. If anything interrupts this process, you can brick your device. Wait for the software update to finish. It's done when you see the battery charging indicator and unplug the Bayou Mini. Put the SD card back in the PC. Delete the .img firmware file from the root level of the SD card. Put it all back together and try out the new Wii U Mini software if you want to. There's not a lot that's different. Turn off the device. If you're using a new SD card like I am, you're going to need to make sure it's formatted for FAT32. Or you could use your old SD card. Uh, make sure you back up your save games if you're using your old SD card. Put the SD card in your computer. Download the latest version of the Onion OS from their GitHub page. There's a link to that in the description below. Uh, you're looking for the zip at the bottom of the latest post. Unzip that. Open the folder in the zip and copy the TMP underscore update folder to the root level of your SD card. And when that's done, eject the card. Put the SD card back in your MIDI. Plug in your MIDI and wait for the Onion installer to pop up. The installer will walk you through the process. It'll let you choose which systems you want installed by default, which is pretty cool. Oh, and you could redo this later from the menu, by the way. But once you've selected everything you want, press start to install. Let it do its thing, and then you're done. Oh, one more step is you have to add your ROMs and BIOS files if you're using a new SD card. You can actually copy those from the old card if you want. I'm not going to show you how to do all the little stuff here in this step. You, you could figure that out. I believe in you. Wow, that was an ordeal. Lots of steps, huh? Nothing too complicated, though. This was the super quick version. Check out my full video, link to the description below. And check out the Retro Game Corpse written guide for and video for a more in-depth uh, tutorial, also linked below. Click the thumbs up button if you like the video, or the thumbs down button if you don't. Subscribe to this stuff. I'm TechDweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.